James Barrett Sterling from Merstham TV after a breathless afternoon here at the Hybrid Fitness Stadium. It finished Merstham 2, Ashford United 2, but what a comeback by the Motesiders, 2-0 down to ensure they left with a share of the spoils. I've been joined by one of the, the men of the afternoon here. It's a very um, a special afternoon for you, Dean Gunner. Thanks for joining us. Uh, first of all, let, let's reflect on the game first of all. Uh, two points dropped or a ga uh, point earned, do you think? Uh, I think when, you, when you're 2-0 down against anyone, I think you'd like being 2-0 down at half-time, um, or straight after half time, showing good spirit to come back. Like, so you'll take, you'll take the point. Um, did either team probably deserve to win it? Probably not. Uh, they had a the, lot more of the play, but we've had a couple of good chances at the end. Could have nicked it, but you know, over, overall 2-2, two, two, you've got to be happy when, you, when you've been 2-0 down, to be honest. So, and it moves us on after a good performance last week. So it's another point on the board. Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was going to say, what did um, Jamie and the, and the management team say at half time? Because we went in 1-0 down, but it was pretty even Stevens from what I saw. Yeah, the, the, there, wasn't, there wasn't a lot between the two teams. Um, they had a lot of the ball again, but didn't create an awful lot. Um, we, we were a bit off it, to be honest, first half. Um, we, we knew second half we had to raise it a little bit and it was more just being like tact tactically aware of um, like the shape and off the ball where we need to be because we gave them too much time first half. Um, but I feel like second half there was a good reaction and yeah, pleased with a point really after that. Yeah, Nice to see two new uh, goal scorers on the uh, the score sheet. Nice for Oddie Kinder in particular who's been here for quite a long time now. He's got his first of the season. What, what does he bring to the team? Oddie Kinder for, for someone who's uh, such, such a young age as well is just like... He's miles above his age. Like he's been playing this season right back, and he'll be in centre midfield one week, then he'll be back out to wing back. Yeah, um, like, yeah you, you put him in any position, and, and he'll be 100%. And he's got the quality as well, so he's got yeah, he's got a good future and everything in football. So, yeah, very good player and deserved his goal. Good stuff, good stuff. And and also Abel, shout out to you as well for getting the equaliser. Good stuff. Um, how do you feel like the, the squad settled down? It was an unchanged lineup today, given the result last week, etc. Seems to be a real core of 16, 17 players now. So is that a benefit for you guys? I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think, like we've said before, when, when Jamie first came in, obviously there was a lot of changes. He had to make a lot of changes and we sort of got, got a bit of a settled side, but then we'd sort of have two or three injuries or a couple of players away. So it was sort of hard. We were always sort of changing four or five players every week. Mm. Um, like, like you say, not last two games we've had the same starting lineup, so it's it's good, and we've got more of a, a core now and a squad. And I feel on our day, if we if we turn up, we can we can compete like we showed last week against anyone in the league. To be honest, yeah, I mean, I was I was going to ask you about last week, uh, what a result that was. Everyone connected, the, the the club was buzzing. What what's the atmosphere from that been like during the week in the lead up to this game? Yeah, so obviously you, you can build a lot of confidence when you're playing a side that is expected to be either the front runner or to be in the top two, definitely. And they've got a lot of good players. The performance last week was exceptional. Um, our, our bit now is to try and build on that every week, not just have one game where we win and we play, say, nine out of ten, and next week we're sort of like maybe a seven or a six. Right. Uh, we've got to get consistency now from now to the end of the season to, to move up the league and get away from the, the bottom end, to be honest. Now, yeah, that was going to be my next question, but he's already answered it. He's a mind reader. Um, a very um, important afternoon for yourself as well, Dean. As I mentioned at the top of the interview, 250 appearances for, for Merston. What a landmark to, to achieve. Thankfully, we didn't lose, yeah. which, which is always good. But how, how do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously not nice to uh, make so many appearances for one club and to be fair, this, this club's been very special to me the whole time. I played here for five, six, well, one, one season first of all and then I was back for sort of five, six seasons and then obviously the return this season. Um, like the support here and the, everyone at the club's like unbelievable. Um, they've always been really good with me so yeah, it means a lot to be honest, it's good. Can you remember your first appearance? Uh, cool, I, I, think, I think we were worth, worthing at home in this league, it was the first first season in the Ryman okay. at the time. Um, so yeah, it was here. I think I think we actually won four one or four two. I think, but someone will have to find out and check. But I think it was. <laughs> Who keeps the stats for the appearances? Because you have to find that result out and find out. Um, and uh, any sort of like special memories over the two hundred and fifty? Any games that particularly stand out, or perhaps a goal that you scored or something? Uh, one one of the top ones have to be getting promoted when when um, Hayden was here. Um, that that was a very good season. Um, there's been, there's been lots of individual games, but overall, just yeah, there'd have to be promotion, to be honest. And like now, we're building something different. Obviously, um, I'm, I'm a little bit older now at the other end of the <laughs> other end of the team and that. But um, yeah, no, like the, the team he's building now, Jamie's come in, and all his all his staff, and he's, he's done really well to like sort of get us together and sort of pick us up the league. And we just got we got to keep going and build on from that. Really, there's no reason why we can't be successful leading into next season. Yeah. Um, and kick on the rest of this season, obviously, first. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you say you're, you're getting on a little bit now. Um, is that why you're playing in the, the, the centre of the three, so you don't have to do a lot of running? Uh, 
No, to, to, to be honest, uh, we, most, most of the season we have been a four um, in, a, in a three. Well, it's worked for us the last sort of three, four games. We've picked up some good results, been quite tight at the back as well. Um, so, yeah, either or, I don't, I don't mind. But You don't mind, but like, what, what was the sort of like the, the change in that formation for, for you guys? Obviously, you're going to have to start like practicing it and training and that sort of thing. Was the transition a smooth one? Uh, yeah, sort of. We sort of done it uh, Herne Bay away. Um, bit of a mixture of sort of like some games not having like fullbacks available, not having wingers available, or injuries or things not being right. Um, and, and we looked more solid from doing it as a team, to be honest. And the results sort of show uh, as, a, like, as a collective we've been quite tight and hard to like break down in games yeah, and yeah. stuff. So yeah, just something's working. We just got obviously like look to kick on for the rest of the season and build on that now. Final question: You got two goals this season already. What, what's your best goal scoring season, and are you close to it? Uh, no, I normally normally on average hit about five a season. I think my best was seven I've had here and uh, one other club before. Okay. Um, but yeah, norm, normally try and hit near five, so I'm a little bit off that at the moment. So, so he's saying he's got three more in him at least. Hopefully. Your eyes lit up when they, we got the free kick right on the edge, didn't we? I was willing it to go in because what a way to cap the afternoon that would have been. Yeah, it would have it been nice, but um, yeah, it wasn't to be. But <laughs> it's important we got the 2-2, two, two, so that's the most important yeah, thing. So, well, Dean, well done on the landmark, well done on the point, and we're all behind you, mate. All right? Cheers, thanks a lot. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.